An article in the Pacific Standard, The Science of Society. Americans intuitively judge atheists as immoral by Tom Jacobs, April 15, 2014. New research finds a link between disbelief and unethical behavior is strongly lodged in Americans' minds. Atheists have been speaking up more loudly in recent years, adding a fresh perspective to debates over meaning and morality. But in spite of this new visibility, the way Americans view non-believers remains extremely negative according to a newly published study. After reading a description of someone committing an immoral act, participants in five experiments read and intuitively assumed that the person was an atheist. University of Kentucky psychologist William Gervais reports in his online journal, even atheist participants judged immoral acts as more representative of atheists than of other groups. The findings suggest our instinctive belief that moral behavior is dependent upon God. As ethical arbitrator and or assigner of divine punishment creates a belief system strong enough to override evidence of the contrary. It leads many people to look at non-believers and reflexively assume the worst. Gervais described five experiments with a total of 1,152 participants, all recruited online via Amazon's Mechanical Turk. He notes that users of this service have previously been found to be less religious on average than Americans in general, making his findings all the more striking. His methodology involved discovering that prejudice would lure people into making a common mental error. Participants in the first experiment, 237 Americans, read a description of a man engaged in unambiguously immoral behavior. Dax was described as someone who harmed animals as a child and then went on to kill a series of homeless people as an adult. Afterwards, they were asked whether it is more probable that the man is A, a teacher, or B, a teacher and some other descriptor. The descriptive terms were, is a Buddhist, is a Christian, is a Jew, is a Muslim, and does not believe in God. In this formulization, the first answer is a teacher is always correct, since any of the other answers are subsets of the first. The fact is not logically possible for any of the other answers to be accurate makes them good indicators of bias. If you, say, hate Muslims, you'll be tempted to check the box without stopping to think through your answer. When the second possible answer was one of the aforementioned religions, the vast majority of participants did not make the error in logic, choosing the correct answer simply a teacher. However, when asked to choose between a teacher and a teacher who does not believe in God, nearly 50% checked the latter. This suggests one particularly vivid example of immorality, serial murder, is seen as representative of atheists, Gervais writes. Gervais duplicated these results by testing acts representing different types of moral violations, including incest, and compared atheists with representatives of other minority groups. Non-believers consistently fared poorly. In one experiment, he writes, participants found descriptions of moral transgressors to be more representative of atheists than of gay people. Surprisingly, when Gervais looked at the response of hardcore atheists, that is, those who both self-identify as atheists and who rate their belief in God at zero, he found even they viewed immorality as significantly more representative of atheists than other people. Even atheists seem to share the intuition that immoral acts are perpetrated by individuals who don't believe in God. What's the basis of this bedrock belief that counteracts immoral impulses requires religion? History and evolutionary psychology suggest that religion likely does assert some influence on morality in at least two ways, Gervais notes. One is creating communities where certain ethical standards are expected to be upheld. The other is the thought that some higher power is watching you, judging you, and perhaps preparing to punish you if you step out of line. These two mechanisms are not mutually exclusive and likely both operate in concert, he writes. Yet the result of his fifth and final experiment suggests belief in God, as opposed to membership in a church, is a key factor in most people's minds. Lay persons may overestimate the role of faith, while underestimating a role of community is shaping morality. Gervais writes. It is an important distinctive in that atheists can also form communities founded on ethical principles, humanism being a prominent example, but as long as people are convinced that there is no good without God, atheists fighting for public acceptance face a struggle of biblical proportions.